Hi there, Brian Conway here, again driving, um, just on my way back from having run a customer workshop and um, as some of you will know if you follow my posts uh, I like to sometimes reflect on some of the learning points that we've covered in the, in the course or workshop or customer engagement or you know, consultancy piece, whatever it might be. Um, and one of the things that we talked quite a lot about today with, in this workshop was about people about getting people to know you, like you, and trust you. you know, people do not buy from people they don't know, they don't like, or they don't trust typically. And uh, it's important that you build that as a salesperson or as a company you know, business owner. It's important that you build that relationship with prospective customers if you want to sell them stuff, uh, and particularly if you want to make life easier for you. I mean, nobody likes cold calls. Um, we don't respond to that particularly well, so you've got to warm people up to you, and that's what no like and trust is all about. Now, one of the things we talked about today was different ways that we can get prospective customers to, to know us, to like us and trust us. And one of the most powerful ways that I've found over the years, and a lot of other people will talk about this, is to give away something of value. And when I say value, you want to be giving away something that, for free, but as, is so good that somebody would potentially pay for it. That's kind of what, how it wants to be. You're not going to charge for it, but it wants to be that good. And uh, there are different things that that might be. Typically, it's often information, because uh, that's low cost to you, but high value to your prospective client. So creating an ebook of some sort, or a video training program, or whatever it might be, typically about how to buy your product or service, what to look for, what uh, gotchas to be kind of aware of, what bad looks like, um, you know, kind of price point they might expect to pay. I mean, what we're really doing is educating somebody on how to buy our products and services. Um, but there's intrinsic value in doing that. And I was a victim of this myself. <laughs> victim is not the right word, but you know what I mean. Many years ago, when I was looking to build one of my very first membership sites, I'd been looking around the web. I found a particular website that hosted membership sites for you. And they had a guide. It was called the um, Membership Bible, I remember. And I downloaded it because I thought, oh, this would be useful to help me understand how to build a successful membership site. And they followed up with me, which is, again, you can't just do one thing. You've got to follow up in a systematic way. And eventually, um, getting to know them, getting to like them and the, their teaching and trusting the advice that they were giving, I eventually subscribed to their service. That's who I bought from. And there were other companies and websites that I looked at, that software apps and things like that, that didn't have the same follow-up, and therefore I didn't buy from. And that's the difference. Excuse me here, just calling away. Um, I got to know the organization, I got to like the people that were imparting the information that I was receiving, and I got to trust, therefore, that their platform would do everything I needed it to do, and therefore, that was the company I bought from. So think about your business. What could you put out into the marketplace to get people to know you, to like you, and trust you? It could be um, something else I, I did a few years ago, was I contacted the editor of an industry mag, and I offered to write a series of publications, a series of articles on selling in that industry, of which, therefore, the readers would get to know me for. So when I then marketed and advertised to them, both in that publication and directly, they recognized me from seeing me in, obviously, uh, in this magazine, but also trusted the advice I was giving from the free articles that I've been writing, and therefore contact me or responded to my advertising much more favorably because they kind of felt they knew who I was. Um, and I didn't just, some of that was cold, I would say cool, and they were fairly warm, I suppose. They kind of seen me and known who I was and contacted me because of that. Some because of that just went to a website and subscribed to other information that I was giving away for free. So I had to warm them up more. And, and some of them didn't buy directly. They were referred, they referred other people to me. So a number of people have spoken to me and I've, when I say, where, you know, where did you find me from? They say, oh, so-and-so. And I said, well, where did he find me from? They said, well, he was, you know, said he'd been reading your stuff for the last two years um, and finds it very useful and therefore um, said I should check you out. So you never know where the business is going to come from but you should certainly be getting out into your marketplace and offering value to your uh, prospective customers on what you offer with no expectation that something will come back. You've just got to put it out there um, because what goes around does come around. And as I said, it may not even be directly. It could be um, through another channel, like a referral. Um, 
but yes, whether you want to call it karma, whether you want to call it the law of attraction or whatever, then it doesn't matter. The point is you've got to get your, your name, your face, all right, maybe just your face, out into the market so that people get to know you. Get some value out there so they get to like you. Um, and build by building that virtual relationship, they will start to trust the advice that you give and therefore they'll trust the products and services that you offer. So there you go. Quick uh, resume of this uh, concept of know, like and trust. I hope you found it very useful. Please excuse the, <laughs> all the gear changes and things here. Um, I've just come off the motorway. I'm now on some country lanes. I'm nearly home and uh, I am going to concentrate on the traffic and driving a little bit more. So I'm going to leave it at that. But get people to know, like and trust you, whatever you do, how you do it. There's lots of different ways. And again, you know, if you follow me on this website or download some of the free guides and things that I have out there, there's lots of tips and tricks and different ways you can do this. Uh, you know, my goal one of my goals, as many of you will know following this, is to help you make sales without actually having to sell. And that's what this concept of know, like and trust is all about. It's warming people up to you. So they want to do business with you right, and chase you down rather than you have to chase them down. Um, and that's, again, one of the premises behind one of my goals for all my clients is ultimately to earn significantly more while working significantly less. So on that note, I am going to pull away here it's okay, don't panic, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, phone just fell out of its holder there for some reason. But anyway, I was just wrapping up. So hopefully you got some great value for that. Uh, I'm gonna sign off before I kill myself and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care, bye for now.